Hi there, and welcome to Algebra 1. We're looking today at Unit 1, Lesson 1, called Getting to Know You. All right, today's learning goals. We're going to be looking at how we can collect data and explore statistical questions together. Okay, our main targets for the day are going to be to see if I can tell statistical questions from non-statistical questions and explain the difference. Okay, there are two things. There's statistical questions and non-statistical questions. We want to make sure we can explain what they are and tell the difference. We're also going to see if we can tell the difference between numerical and categorical data. So that's what our lesson is going to be about today, those main things here, talking about statistical questions and non-statistical questions, as well as numerical and categorical data. So here we go. Let's jump on into today's lesson. All right. We begin, first of all, with a warm-up, which is kind of a what do you see, what do you notice kind of, kind of question, which most of our lessons will begin with this year. And we have four questions, question A, B, C, and D. They're all a little different from one another for different reasons, okay? And the first thing you want to do in class today really is to talk about what is different between each of these types of questions here. What are the things you see differently happening from one to the other? What do you notice? What do you wonder? So when I look at the first question here, question A, I can see it asks me how many, how many potato chips are in this bag of chips? So when I think about a question like this, if I was to have a bag of chips, okay, and I open it up and I count all the chips that are in there, I'm going to get some sort of numerical answer, aren't I? Some number. And maybe that number is going to be a specific number like 24, whatever it might be. But I'm going to get one answer, and it's going to be a number. When we look at the question B, it says, what is the typical number of chips in a bag of chips? Well, in this case, I might have several different bags, right? And one bag has a couple, another bag has a few more, right? I'm going to again have a number, but the difference between the first one and the second one is I'm going to have a variety of answers, right? I'm going to have a variance there from what I'm going to have. Overall, both of these questions here are what we would call a numerical because I'm looking for a number for both to, for the answer for both questions. They're both numerical. The difference though is that one is going to give me a singular answer and the other one is going to be a varietal or variety of answers here and that's going to be the difference. So what we're going to talk about today is really why this is. So in this case here in the first one this would be a non-statistical question whereas the second one would be a statistical question. And it's a statistical question because there are a variety of responses that it can be. Okay, now when I look at this question C, I have what type of chips are these? Now think about that. If I'm asking what type of, of something is going to be, I might have something like what type it might be, and maybe it's going to be hot Cheetos or Takis or something like that, right? Now in this case here, I have a type or what we might call a categorical response, right? It's a word response, not a number response. But in this case, there's only one response for this type that I'm dealing with. The difference between that and the question D is, what type of chips do students in this class prefer? Again, that's also a categorical question, the types of chips, but I can have a variety of answers, right? I can have a variety, a varietal, that's what they talk about in math, where I might have the hot Cheetos, I might have Doritos, I might have, um, you know, barbecue chips, right? And again, it goes on and on. I can have lots of options there. So in this case here, the first one, when I only have one answer, is a non-statistical question whereas this one, D, is going to be a statistical question, okay? So that's really what we're talking about. They all belong or don't belong for different reasons, whether it be that they are numerical. Oops, wrong button there. Let's undo that. I'm sorry. Whether it be that they are numerical or categorical, we can split them into two sections there, 
or whether it is non-statistical, as in how many chips or what type of chips, right? Or they could also be statistical, as in what's a typical number or what type of chips do they prefer. And that's really what today's lesson is all about. In your groups, what you're going to do today is essentially your teacher was going to give you a set of three questions. So here's like set A, and over here's an example of what set D might have been. And with each set of questions, what you're looking at is the types of questions you're going to ask people and your classmates about. Okay, so hopefully your teacher gave you some sort of chart to work at where you will take some data, write their name down, and you know, question one, two, three, and get some information that you can use to answer this question. The first question says, on average, on average, how many letters are in the family last names for students in this class? So to answer that question, we're going to have to get down some names. Maybe you write down, you know, Jones, and you write down Mr. Morgan, and you write down Nichols, and you write down Smith, whatever you might write down. And then we have a variety of responses there. Notice the variety, so varietal responses, where I have five, I have six, I have seven, I have back to five. But I'm gonna have a variety of responses in this case here. So because there's a variety of responses, I would say that this is going to be a statistical type of question. And when I wanna know how many letters, it's gonna be numerical. So this is a numerical statistical question, okay? Now let's take a look at number two. Which month has the most birthdays from the class? So which month has the most birthdays? So a month is a category, right? Categorical. And again, you'll probably take your surveys here and let's say you had, let's just look at a few months here. May, June, July, August. Maybe there were four birthdays here, two birthdays there, five birthdays there, and one birthday there. I can take a look at, I know this is a number, but really what I'm looking at is how many are in B, and these are categories of May, June, July, August. So it's a little more categorical because I'm looking for a word that goes along with it, okay? And then finally, our last question here, how many periods or blocks have there been before this month, uh, before this math class? Let's pretend we're in fourth period right now. Well, if you're in fourth period right now, that means that you went to first, second, and third. So there were a total of three periods before. Notice here there's only one answer, right? And when there's only one answer, this is going to be non-statistical because you're just looking for a single answer. So our first two questions, our first two questions, one and two, are statistical whereas our second question is not a statistical question, it's just answer, asking a basic question. You do the same thing if you did sets B or C or even set D as well, okay? So for our lesson synthesis here today, kind of wrapping this up here, and I actually I already typed this in there, what makes a question statistical is if there is a variability in the data collected. Okay, so there would be some sort of variety in the answers that you get. That makes a question statistical. So what is an example of a non-statistical question? Well, if I said, what kind of dog is this? That's going to have a, you know, a one answer, like one answer, one response. It's just going to answer a question. That is a non-statistical question. If I ask what's an example of a statistical question that we have not used in class today, I could ask something like, on average, how far do people travel to school each day? Maybe it's one mile, maybe it's seven miles, maybe it's 10 miles, uh, whatever it could be. I could have a variety of answers there. And again, that variety makes it a statistical question. Okay, and then finally, what type of data is collected to answer the statistical question? Would the class rather have pizza or donuts? So the type of data here, again, your choices are going to be numerical, or categorical. And in this case, because we're talking about pizza or donuts, that's gonna be categorical. So to wrap it up here in summary, we would say that statistics is about using data to solve problems or make decisions. And there are two types of data. There's numerical data, which is expressed using a number. 
and there's categorical data expressed using characteristics. Okay, the question that you ask determines the type of data you collect and whether or not there is variability in the data collected. So is there a variety of responses here? That's kind of the key word there, is the variety. If there's variety, then we have a statistical question. Okay, if there's no, if, that's, if, the, answer question, if the answers do not vary, then it's non-statistical, and that's the difference. Statistical varies, non-statistical does not vary. So questions like, what is the average class size? That's going to vary depending upon where you are. Favorite colors of students is going to vary from class to class. So those are statistical questions. But over here, how many students are on the roster? No variety. You're going to have one answer because for this class, right? And here, what color marker is, what color is this marker? One answer, not a variety of questions there. Your cool down activity looks like this today, which you can do in class, answering these questions here and giving those to your teacher. So if you're doing this with a substitute today, you can take a look at that and pause the video and then answer those questions and then turn that into her. And then I'm gonna skip over and go over to tonight's homework. All right, so it says write a survey question for which you would be expected, you expect to collect numerical data. So what I typed in here is what is the average height of students in our class okay I'm looking for a number here a height that's going to be some sort of number that's what I would put there for a question to get categorical I might ask something like what is the favorite school after school activity for kids in our class right and it might be some people like to go home and do homework some people like to do sports some people like to do TV some people play some kind of video games right those are going to be categories or different types of things there. Okay, and then let's look at one more here. Get the eraser out there. All right. All right, and we have select all the statistical questions. Now, again, statistical means that it has what? That there's some sort of variety in the response. It could be numerical or it could be categorical. Either one is going to be fine. So the first one says, what is a typical amount of rainfall for the month of June in the Galapagos Island? So we're looking for typical amount of rainfall month of June in a certain place. Okay, so what that means is that we're going to have to look at a variety of Junes in order to look at the different numbers in order to figure out what a solution might be. So we would say this is going to be a statistical question because you're going to have a variety of Junes. You're going to have to look at like the year 2020 and 2021, 2022, and look and see what were the amount of rainfalls each month to see what the typical amount's going to be. Okay, next one. How much did it rain yesterday at the Mexico City International Airport? Okay, that's going to give you, for example, let's just pretend it was one inch. Well, one inch is a singular answer. There's no variety, so this is going to be a non-statistical question, isn't it? For number three, why do you like to listen to music? Well, let's see. Is that a number? No. Is that a category? No. So it's not a statistical question. This is a non. Okay. How many songs does the class listen to each day? Well... How many songs? So we know it's going to give us some sort of number. And again, because there's many people in the class, we're going to get a variety of responses. Because we're getting a variety of responses, this will be a statistical question. Next one. How many songs did you listen to today? Well, because it's just today and it's just you, right? It's you today. That's going to give you an answer. Let's say you've listened to five songs today. That's only one answer. That's going to be a non-statistical thing. If there's no variety, it's a singular answer, isn't it? All right. What is the capital of Canada? Now, that's going to be a name. And because it's a name, that's going to be a categorical response. But again, there's only one response. So because there's one response, that is non-statistical there. And the last one, 
how long does it typically take for second graders to walk a lap around the track? Okay, how long does it typically, typically take? We're gonna have a variety of times for that to happen, okay? How long it is, it's gonna be some sort of number. So it's numerical and it's also statistical. So we have three statistical questions, A, D, and G, and hopefully that makes a little bit of sense for you today. All right, that's it for today. Hope that helps you out quite a bit, and we will see you next time.